well, remarkable scenes. It's just absolutely amazing, to be honest. It's always spicy at the end of the day, and here we go, everybody. It's the cup final, the woman's side of the draw. It's going to be China against Japan. They'll be running out onto the field any moment now. Japan, clearly the favourites here. They've destroyed everyone before them. Here's the Chinese side. They've got the firepower. Look out for number seven, Chen Kaiyi. She's top try scorer, leading top top try scorer with Honoka Susumi from Japan. So those two will ding dong it out here. But they've got they've improved throughout this tournament. China, the passes are sticking. Chiharu Nakamura in one. Here's number five, Honoka Susumi, but number seven, Yumi Hirano, she's a real handful. And Pativa Kololo in three, she's a regular part of the starting lineup these days. Very much a bench player in past years. And this is it. Going for full points here in the first leg of the 2019 Asia Rugby 7 Series. Plowing out onto the field, Nakamura on the right. Led out by their skipper, Yan Mei Ling. China. And this is the moment you think about all week in the build up, making the cup final. And Patrick Kwok from Hong Kong is our referee. And well, these two teams, they met once in a cup final last season. And it was Japan that won. They won all three cup finals last year, but only by one try against China. Something like 12-7 was the score. Very close indeed. Japan have the firepower. They dispatched Hong Kong earlier in the quarterfinal. Just enough on. 19 points to seven. And Japan are here, courtesy of a 22-5 victory over Kazakhstan. There's Okoroda. Sometimes she's the skipper, sometimes she's not. They should have shared around with Nakamura. Key playmaker, goal kicker. Here we go, first scrum. Set. Hirano with the feed. Here's Okoroda. Oh, she... Goes for the dummy ball, the flat runner there. Here's Susumi. Here's an early chance to see Honaka in action. Gets right into the neck there of uh, Yang Shu. Good defence though from China. They've turned it over. Susumi there hardly ever gets dispossessed. This is Yuli Ping. She skips out of one. Tries to take on the sweeper. Good tackle from Hirano. Just clips around the ankles. Yang Fei Fei there. Fires one away. Here's Gu Yao Yao. Into the Japanese half now. And here's Chen Kei in seven there. Look out for her. Leading top try scorer. And so an early exchange there. Both teams getting it through the hands and defence holding up. All tense moments early on. First two minutes gone. First final of the season. Of the series, I should say. Roach. <coughs> Terrific to be here. Great Five. to be back on the series again. Set. Hidano. Hidano from the base. Good defence coming in from China. Okoroda has to go in from fly half to secure this. Good strength from Okoroda. Hirano again. A Fantich offside. And that's good Thank work you. from Bativa Kololo there. She just needed to hang on to that. She did well. Seven offside. Willing to take it up the guts, doing the hard stuff. Here's Nakamura. Now she reads the game so well. She decides that she's going to hang on to this. Not going to fling it wide to Susumi. Put her under pressure. Bativa Kololo. Okoroda gets taken in a chop tackle from Yang Fei Fei. This is really close quarter stuff, isn't it? Bativa Kololo again with a carry. Just trying to keep it close here, looking for the straight line, the runner, Okoroda. Really quick service from Hirano. Nakamura and Susumi now, they're going to partner up on this far side. Puts on a bit of goose, Susumi, beats two. Nakamura's right on it, trying to wrestle Please. the ball off it. Lovely start from those two out there. Okoroda feeds a short ball to Kozasa. 
Let it come. Got to say, the defence is coming in strong and it's well organised. Okoroda, oh, look at that big oh, shot from Yang Ming. It was high. Just about the shoulder. She just and came in on a full frontal. Brutal stuff, Jed. Not for the squeamish at all. And some fair amount of fizz going in it, into the tackles here. Interesting to watch, isn't it? You're going to see Tsumi's full bag of tricks here, I think, because she's not getting China. that super big space. Might get it later in the game when everyone's Good. feeling a bit gassed. It'll be interesting to see what her plan is. Does she come off the wing and go looking for a little bit of work in close? Or does she just hang out and play the seagull? Oh, it's a cheeky one to the front. Well worked. Nakamura now holds on. They do get her out, but she rolls it inside. Good awareness at the sideline from Chihado Nakamura. They win the penalty. Four minutes in. No Six. score here. Thank you. Nakamura trying to get the ball. Pativa Kalolo, she can score herself too, and she looks up. A little bit of a gap opens, and it closes just as quick. Out five. Nakamura. Looking now for Susumi. She needs half a chance, and that defender knows that. That's Yang Yu, and she gets right on her game. She doesn't want to give her any runway at all. Hirano to Nakamura. Okoroda's on the chop. There's a bit of a gap opening up here, but Tiva Kolo. Oh, look, another big hit coming in from Yang. It's a couple of big ones she's put in. Kozasa. And just the continuity, it's going to be Hirano, and that's a fantastic team effort. Everyone's touched that maybe twice. And they're underway here in the cup final. Yumi Hirano. Terrific teamwork. Well, absolutely relentless from Japan, wasn't it? And it's not like China's taking a backward step either. Look at these two countries go at each other. Incredible uh, stuff. China? This play must have gone for nearly okay. two minutes. And Hirano, look at the, the, the mindfulness to see the player make the movement before the ball even takes the ball. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Really kept the ball alive, didn't they? Okoroda. I think she's missed the conversion. So it's 5-0 on this Nakamura. Legend of women's rugby in Japan. And really the queen bee of Asian women's rugby. It's a good restart for Okoroda. It's well taken by Yu Li Ping. And look at the leg drive here. That's a really good return. 15 metres with a couple of players hanging off her. Yan Mei Ling swings it wide. They're looking out there for Chen. And Chen delivers to Gu Yao Yao and looks to join in the action again. And there goes Chen. Gets chopped down low. Last like a rotor it was. So the, the threat players are being handled well at the moment. Chen and Susumi. Here's a good carry by Yan Mei Ling again. Fante slowing down, number one. Free ball for China. This is Yang Feifei. Yang, Yang Shu Fante just ducking under a couple of high ones. Look, here comes Yang Feifei. Here's Chen Yi. Play on. Chen Kei Yi gets up and goes again. Can she pop the final pass? Japanese just clinging on here. Three metres out. And over, it's a dart at the line. And Yang Feifei. And anything Japan can do, China can do too. They've worked their way down the field, 60, 70 metres, and exactly the same as the Japanese, keeping it alive, popping it off the ground, and they bang it down for a big five-pointer right on the hooter. Well, <laughs> what can you say about these two teams? These fuses have got to run out at some point. The tanks have got to empty at some point. It's Who's going to blink first in that regard? And that's hit off the woodwork there. A crucial two points gone begging. So it's five all at half time. And you're right, who is going to blink first? Two years ago, we saw one of the most outstanding finals at the football club between these two sides. It was 12 0 to China with just two minutes remaining. Japan came back with a couple of tries in those last two minutes to win 14 12. These two have had some really great battles over the years. China only making the one cup final 
in the 2018 series. Kazakhstan and Hong Kong each made a cup final as well. Is this how it's going to be for this series? Kazakhstan and Hong Kong battling out the third and fourth playoff this week. Hong Kong just squeaking through on that one. Down there, you see coach Sean Horan. He took your New Zealand Black Ferns women's team to Rio and won a silver medal. So who better to have in charge than a man who's been there? He's done it. Now he's trying to take this Chinese women's team to Tokyo next year. And here's the Malaysian women's team. Finishing up seventh this weekend. Big seven minutes left here. Big game players like Chiharu Nakamura. If she's on the field, Japan are always going to have a chance. Well, she's number one for Japan. She's number one in Asia in my book as well. On the other side, we've got Chen Kei, a rapidly developing force in Chinese women's rugby, number seven. She's up there leading try scorer with Susumu. She's also the playmaker, getting involved in everything. She set up that try they scored just before half time. Here we go, five all. That gone forward off China. No, Nakamura gets smashed on the ground. He's been knocked down by the Chinese player. So. Five. Uh, deliberate knock on. Deliberate knock on, says Patrick Kwok. Eagle eyed Kwok on the scene. Strum how critical will that be, Yan Mei Ling? Number five, leaving for two minutes. I thought Nakamura got hit quite high with her knees on the ground, but Kwok let that one go. So an important two minutes here. Japan need to capitalise. Crouch. Got a big blind here. Blind. Well, their quality, you can expect them to be quite clinical about Set. this. Is Hirani going to try and go blind here? Set up. You can see it's the winger again. out there okay. with no one against her. Again. They just have to try and wheel it a little bit to the right. Get a left shoulder on. Not make it too obvious to Crouch. the ref. Hirano. Sit. No, she comes open. She's looking for Okaroda. Starts to open up in front of her. Susumi. She has to slow down for that one. And she's got about four Chinese players on her and they're going backwards. Look at the tackles coming in. Huge defense from China. Susumi on her knees, pops it to a skipper. Balls there. And they've lost about 20 metres, but they've still got the ball. Bateva Kololo into the Chinese half. They've got to try and find the space here in this two minutes. Nakamura, she's looking for her speedsters. She finds Susumi and on a short ball. Look at that, what a line. How good's that from Kodogi? And Nakamura picks out Kuroge, who runs a super direct line. It busts open the gap. And that Saku, did you have anything? is a very good try indeed. As Patrick Kwok just checking with his assistant no, referees okay. here. Thanks, Saku. Actually, it was Susumi who just <laughs> crept across there and set that one up for Viho Kuroge. She goes the whole way. He awards the try. Thanks, Saku. Took them a while, but they found that extra space. The conversion was good, so Japan 12, China 5. And I think China is still down to 6. Can't be long left. Yes. Actually, no. On comes. And May Lick now, so they're back to seven. Conceded seven points in her absence. Five minutes to go here. Okaroda, is that going to go ten? Yes, <laughs> they let it bounce. Yan Ming it was that took it to ground. Finish knock. And that was Chen there. She's guilty of just throwing it, over. throwing it too hard at the run instead of just lofting it up to her, perhaps. Okaroda. Yeah, yeah, Out wide over. again comes Kurogi. 
The advantage being played. She's got to get inside to Okoroda. Good support play on her shoulder. Is she going to be able to finish oh. it? She slows down. She turns. She waits. And she puts in the big plant. And gets the thrust off her Yumi Okoroda. Second try of the series. And that was brilliant from Kurogi again. Just pointing, signalling. She's got Nakamura and Okoroda with her. That's very comforting to see the two veterans looming up outside you. And look at that. She almost turned around and waited for her. Ten seconds. And that's all about timing. He hasn't got the longest arms in the world. She converts her own try. So now there is some breathing space. Two converted tries. Fumiko Watake is on and four. Okoroda, that's a really good restart. It's giving a good shot there for Fumiko Atake. She takes it on the run there. That's very dynamic, play on, play athletic on. play. There's a four-on-two situation. Hirano looks to go over the top. Takes the defensive line on instead, and the skipper gets over the top of it. Okoroda on the wraparound. Here comes Otake again after winning that take, and she's now full of beans. Chinese defence still comes at them over the top. Yan Mei Ling just inside the Chinese half looking for runners. Nakamuri just slows it down for a moment. It's two and a bit minutes remaining in this game. Okoroda goes sideways. Susumi hasn't really had to get away in this game. Otake again. Nakamura. Hirano there taking the contact of Yuri Ping. Just, just wearing the clock down a bit here. They don't seem to be too worried about going wide. Bateva Kololo. Balls available. Yuki Ito there in 12. Nakamura, they're losing ground, but they won't be worried about that. Hirano pops it through, and it's probably just skimmed off the side of the boot. It's probably looking for more of a kick pass, but anyway, it's gone deep. And the chase is Number good. Five. Yeah, that's another harsh call, you know, it just just coming in full frontal. Wasn't a swinging arm or anything, just taking them standing straight up. Hang on, Number we're going one. to the pocket again. And now Nakamura's yep. been sent off two swing, quick swing, high swing, ones swing. in a row. I think she's taken one for the team there. Just wait, sub. A couple of substitutions on, with Nakamura ring. in the bin. Free. I think it might be too late though. China Free. have to Stop. score here. They need to get the ball into the hands of Chen. Just on wait comes Wu Jian and number one. They've got to do it now. Slap down. Yan Mei Ling. Looking for the runners. They're looking for Chen. There is Chen. She wants to get on the outside here. And she's well accounted for. By Nagata. They've lost it forward. And I think that might be the ball game. Nakamura, the skipper, is going to see out this final from the sideline. Two yellow cards in the That's game, right. one to each side. Crouch. Point. Sit. Hirano gives it to Okoroda, and she's got no interest in doing anything else except pumping that over the sideline. Japan, victorious here in the first cup final of the series here in Korea, and they're delighted. The Japanese, their class showed through. It was five all at half time, very tight indeed. And they managed to pull away from China in an epic final here. Jed, your thoughts, your comments? Well, Japan, yeah, they're classy. We know how good they are. World Series competitors, now they're on their way to the Olympics. And there's the customary bow as they exit the dojo. And a brief shot of. 
Nakamura, the captain of China. Shouldn't be disappointed at all. Japan are just that good. 19 points to five, the final score. Japan triumphant in League One. And they pay tribute to their hosts and their supporters. And what a team they are. They continue on their way.